Hello friends. Welcome to my new NetBeans IDE tutorial series video. Today, I will teach you, how to automatically generate JPA entities from a database in NetBeans. NetBeans is an integrated development environment for developing Java applications. NetBeans can generate JPA entities from an existing database schema. Thus, it saves a lot of potentially tedious work. This tutorial will provide you an idea how to generate JPA entities from a database table in NetBeans. Friends, let's go ahead and start NetBeans IDE. Go to Window menu in the menu bar and select Services. Go to Services tab. Open Databases list. Friends, NetBeans comes with a Java DB database support. In this tutorial, I will use Java DB as the database to create a table, from which I will generate an entity. Friends, you can also integrate and use other databases. You can refer my previous tutorials on how to integrate third-party databases with NetBeans. The link to video is provided in the description box below. Right-click on Java DB database icon. And select Create Database. Create Java DB database dialog box gets open. Provide database name as Customer DB. Provide username and password. Here, I provide it as SA, SA. And confirm it below. Click OK. It starts Java DB database and creates a customer DB for us. Go to customer DB icon under Java DB. Right click and select connect. As soon as it gets connected, you can see a link between database and NetBeans has been set successfully. Just open it. You will see a SA schema with no tables to it. Just go to Tables folder. Right click and select Create Table. Create Table dialog box gets open. Provide a table name as Customer. For this demo, let's say we create a customer table with only three columns such as Customer ID, which is our primary key, Customer name which is the name of the customer and customer age which represents age of the customer click on add column to add few columns add column dialog box gets open provide name as customer ID provide an integer type to it Make it as a primary key and click OK. Repeat the same steps with customer name. Provide type to it as Varchar. and size as 30. Repeat the same steps with customer age. Provide type to it as integer and make it as not null column. Click OK. Finally, click OK, and you can see database table by name, customer gets created. It has three columns such as, 
Customer ID, Name and Age. Right click on Customer Table and select View Data. It opens in SQL Editor and select Query is fired on it. Currently, it has no data. Go to Window menu in the menu bar and select Projects. Go to Projects tab. Let's create a web application. Either, go to File menu in the menu bar and select New Project. Or right click on Projects tab and select New Project. New Project dialog box gets open. In the Categories list, select Java Web and Select Web Application in the Projects list. Click Next. New Web Application dialog box gets open. Enter the name of the web application as Customer App. Click Next. Server and Settings section of the new web application dialog box gets open. We will select Glassfish Server as the server. Choose Java EE 7 as Java EE version. The context path of web application is slash customer app. Click Next. It asks us to select frameworks. Just click Finish without selecting any frameworks. In Projects tab, Customer App gets created. Open the web application. Let's see how to create a JPA entity from a customer table in database. Right click on Root folder of web application, select New, and click on Other. New file dialog box gets open. In the Categories list, select Persistence and select Entity classes from database in the File Types list. Click Next. New Entity Classes from Database dialog box gets open. In this dialog box, we provide database table from which entity has to be created. We add data source customer DB to it and then select it for use. Go to drop down list of data source and select new data source. Create data source dialog box gets open. Provide a JNDI name to it. This name will be used to get a reference to customer DB data source. Let's provide a name as JDBC slash customer DB. Under database connections, select the database connections we created before. Click OK. As soon as we click OK. The data source is loaded and customer table is populated into available tables section. Select customer table and add to selected table. It tells NetBeans that entity has to be created from customer table. Click next. Entity classes section gets open. In this section it provides information related to entity class name and its generation type. We can even change name of entity class. Provide a package name as com.hoverspot.entity. Leave all things as it is. Click Next. Mapping Options section gets open. Here, you can provide association fetch and collection type. Click Finish. It has created customer entity. It has at the rate entity annotation on it, which makes it a JPA entity. It points to customer table through, at the rate table annotation. It has annotation at the rate XML root element, to make it compatible to JAXB XML components. It has also auto-generated few named queries for us.
It implements serializable interface, as these entities can be serialized over a network or database. It has at the rate ID annotation over customer ID property. It makes it a unique primary property in entity. At the rate column points JPA entity property to database table column. Finally, below it has getters and setters. along with hash code equals and to string method implemented so friends go through this video two to three times so that how to automatically generate JPA entities from a database in NetBeans concept gets more clear to you hope you like this video please give one minute to like share comment or subscribe my channel or you can visit my website at www.hubberspot.com